Speaking of family, what if the people who don't respect the boundaries or who we fear won't respect the boundaries are family? And the idea of they can't go with you is even more challenging when, in many instances, maybe they're all you've ever known, or that means that Christmas and Thanksgiving is going to be different. Like, it's one thing to walk away from a friend or to say, I'm going to create distance between a friend. But in family units, often, if there is friction or a need to have a boundary, it affects the way that you connect with everyone. And now all of a sudden, you know, maybe you're the one acting funny or now you think you're better than everyone else. Like, how do we navigate that reality? Well, first, we must acknowledge when we actually are acting funny. <laughs> because many of us do set a boundary and back away. You can set a boundary and continue to engage. Hey, we're not having Thanksgiving at my house. Call your mama tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody said don't call her. But sometimes we do that. We're like, oh, I set this boundary. They're mad at me. Well, do we know? We've had this hard conversation. We don't need to do this thing next week. Was it canceled? So it's really important to think about, am I the person who's changed my behavior in this situation? Or have they even reacted to it yet? 